Hello and welcome to The Distinguished Gamer. I am Dark Bunny and we are playing Red Dead Online. This week we are looking at the latest benefit update and the new Halloween pass that has just come out. So, let's head over to the benefit section and check it out. Firstly, the Halloween pass. Let's see, what do they have for us? Grim Tidings are making their way to Red Dead Online with the very first Halloween pass. Meanwhile, Wheeler, Rawson & Co. Club membership returns to reward all players with free seasonal gifts. The Halloween pass is a purchasable, limited time upgrade with a macabre reward across 20 ranks available through November 16th. So, the, the Outlook Pass Season 3 has just ended and now the Halloween pass has come out. I'm definitely going to go get that. Let's see what else. The Halloween pass brings tricks and treats alike. alike. Upgrade across the ranks and do they say what do you get? Not really. Everything you unlock during the Halloween pass you keep. Get a reward for a free short arm engraving when you purchase the Halloween pass this week. Purchasing the Halloween pass will land you a reward for a free short arm engraving. Masks are back for a limited time. I definitely want one. You'll get 10 poison throwing knives and a reward for an ability card. Cool. Then there's a new game mode to play, Dead of Night. The brand new mode, Dead of Night, puts four teams in a gruesome fight for survival against each other and the dead. Complete a round of Dead of Night any time over the next seven days to earn triple the usual payout and a care package consisting of three tomahawks, ten volatile fire bottles and 25 incendiary buckshot slugs. And here they just talk about the uh, short arm engraving reward again. And we also have a new legendary panther. Come on, update. There we go. Legendary panthers. Looks like there's two of them. The spotted Nightwalker Panther blends in with its surrounding vegetation in the mist and shadows of dusk near Bulgur Glade. And the albino Ghost Panther, meanwhile, has been seen hunting deer in Blue Water Marsh and the surrounding areas. Obviously at Gus's Trapper Store, if you take the Nightwalker and Ghost Pelts to Gus, uh, you can sell them for a handsome amount of coin and you'll unlock the corresponding garment sets to purchase. They do look quite awesome. I think I like the that ghost pelt at the back there. That looks stunning. Opossum Vitalism Studies Pamphlet. So uh, with Harriet you get another transformation thing. I haven't done any of them yet. I should actually do one of them. We also have 30% of all melee weapons. 40% of all Wilderness Outfitters content. That's a nice update. What else? Limited role icon items. For those preparing to embark on any of the Frontier Pursuits, get started today with 5 gold bars off the Bounty Hunter, Trader, Collector and Naturalist rolls, 10 gold bars off the Moonshiner Shack, and a free location of your Moonshine Shack. I actually still want to do the Moonshine Shack and I think I'm going to just start it this week at least because one of the rewards I read is an update, a uh, bar decor update and I don't want to miss out on it because I don't have a bar yet. So just to be safe I will do that and 40% of all roll items. Well that's a big reward. Okay, well, that's that's about it. Let's check out this Halloween pass. Obviously, like the Outlaw pass, it had a bunch of free stuff. Not a lot. There's a Phantom Buck Mask. That looks awesome, actually. And then with the reward... Oh, this machete looks stunning. I do want that one. 
gonna get this Halloween pass gothic deco for my bar. It's a cool mask, but yeah, I don't know. Gallows blindfold. That's so cool. What else do we have? Oh, that's a nice flag. I think I want that. That's a nice block rifle variant. And a flayed bison mask. Ugh. Looks a bit disgusting. Well, let's buy the Atlo Pass. The Halloween Pass. Congratulations, you now hold the Halloween Pass. Awesome. Okay, now. Where's all my stuff? I'm gonna quickly have a look here. There we go. Is there anything in my lockbox that I need to collect? Loot is a lot. That's everything in there. Let's go check out my wardrobe. Outfits. No. No. Outfits are ugly. Hats. I did just get a new hat. But I don't like it. It is an ugly hat. Let's see, the cutter hat's nice. The gator hat. Yeah. I like my sobol hat. that hat on my horse. We'll put that one on my horse. Okay. New coats, the Amador coat, which I don't really like. But, you know, got it for free. Gloves, hand wraps. I like these hand wraps. They look quite cool. And new buckles, the golden spirit buckle. Do I have any other new buckles? Oh, I've got a lot of buckles here. No, no new buckles, so I'll keep the one I've got. New pants, the Amador pants. No thank you. Night gowns. Definitely not playing in night gowns. Chaps, the Griffith chaps. No. Right, 
that is it. Always pet your dog. If you don't pet your dog, you might get shot. We should head over and go look for those panthers. Right, Blue Water Marsh is up here and Volga Glade is down here. I think let's do that. Guys, that was the update. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the next episode where we will be going after the um, the panthers tonight. <laughs>